I'm going to demonstrate for you today a takeoff on the traditional sentence scramble activity. In this activity, which is guided by the teacher, you are going to demonstrate to your students and reinforce the idea that every word in a sentence has a role or a function. It has a job to do. You can pull a word out of a decodable text, out of authentic literature, either expository or a narrative, or just make up a sentence that you would like to work on with your students. Put each word in the sentence on a sticky note or on an index card or whatever you're using for technology. Make sure there is one word per card. Step number one, make sure your students can read all of the words on the cards or the sticky notes. So here we have Dawn, at, and then lay them out so they can see all the different words that you uh, are going to be in the sentence. Treetops, the, over, soars, hawk, young, and a. Okay. So they're all laid out. Make sure that they're at the top of your board or your pocket chart or at the top of their desks or the table that you're working on so that the words can be pulled down one or two or three at a time and they have a, an empty space for the cards. So the first thing we do is we ask them for the action word or the verb. So you decide what language your students are ready for. Are they ready for the word verb? Do they know that that's the action? Or do we need to say, find the action word, something that's happening? So they're going to pull down the word soars into their empty space. And then we want to ask them, use either the word a or the word the at the, be, be, at the beginning of this next two word phrase and say, ask them who soars, who soars. So they might wanna pull down a and hawk. Now have them read a very short sentence that they've built, a hawk soars. The next thing we want to do is to ask them where the hawk soars. And they are allowed to use three different cards to build a where phrase. And they will probably come up with a hawk soars over the treetops. Have them read the sentence, a hawk soars over the treetops. And if you wish, you can have them read it in, the fra in phrases just the way I did so they can see the whole sentence rolling out, but they can also see the different parts of the sentence based on what their job is. Okay, and then we can ask, when does the hawk soar over the treetops? And they will are allowed to pull down two post-it notes. If you need to say that, then say that. They might be able to come up with it themselves, but if you need to say, just pull down two post-it notes, please do that. A hawk soars over the treetops at dawn. And there we go. They read the sentence again. A hawk soars over the treetops at dawn. And then we would likely ask them, since there's only one left, Please describe the hawk and where should that word go? They would slide over the A and slide in young. Read the sentence again. A young hawk soars over the treetops at dawn. Now that could be the end of your lesson. So you'd wanna make an uppercase letter there. You'd wanna put some kind of punctuation mark at the end of the sentence. And that could be the finish of your lesson. Or if you have some um, time or your students are ready for this, you can show them that we can pick up this when phrase here at dawn and we can put it at the front of the sentence. And that actually is going to make our sentence sound really nice. So we could take at dawn and put it in front of the sentence 
and then we can we can read it. So we can read and you want to put a comma in there if they were going to write it down on their papers. At dawn, a young hawk soars over the treetops. So once again, we would need to put an uppercase A there and then some kind of punctuation mark at the end. So that's how we could do a sentence unscramble activity and show them explicitly how the words in the sentence have a, a job to do and gives us more information about what's going on.